Hello, boys and girls, my name is Altasty and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon Season 1, Episode 6. And last time we finished with uh, quite a, a good game. Hopefully, that will uh, earn us uh, enough uh, money so we can hire one additional developer and with that really uh, uh, make uh, constantly good games in the uh, uh, medium areas. So that's that's the goal for today. So here we have the uh, game report of that game. It was called Grouse. Hunting and casual is a good combination. Not great, but good. Uh, and considering our score we got uh, I'm I'm happy with that. So Multishare research is now unlocked, uh, but let's have a look at publishing deals. Airplane strategy any topic casual. I know casual on the game link is is great. And we did some some good games there. School simulation and, uh, and uh, not so sure, especially with the high score and uh, the console we have no license for. Uh, here, comedy simulation, uh, same thing again. So, I think we do a casual game for the game link um, for a young audience. Um, what topic shall we pick? I know there are a few that lend themselves for this. Yeah, let's do a fashion. We already did uh, uh, one of uh, of fashion uh, games. Um, I think it was uh, called Catwalk Paris. Uh, then let's go to. Milan uh, and of course our own game engine latest and greatest uh, let's stick with uh, 2d games it's not that important for casual games even if our uh, uh, version 2 of uh, of the uh, two game uh, engine is a bit more expensive than uh, 3D, but we need to uh, level up there as well. So, yeah, that looks about right. Gameplay, uh, it's probably more of the uh, of the uh, design thing than the technical thing. So. Uh, Bill is the right person there. And we already started the hype. Okay. Um. So let's switch Bill over to Dialogues and uh, I will take over the level design. Just to keep things evened out a bit more. Okay. No more particular trends. Um, then let's do uh, uh, marketing here. Okay. Uh, as I mentioned last time, if you hype a game too much, you can only fail. Yeah. 
Uh, maybe open world is not that important, but I could imagine uh, um, having a night and day cycle could be something. Okay. Quite a few, few bucks uh, in there. But let's fix them. Quite high score on the on the design. And also the uh, technology side is not so bad. Oh. And it's a record on both accounts. Okay, then let's release the game. Um, we need uh, some uh, more training and we have new options here but we do not yet know the uh, effect so uh, and the game review came in it's an 8 and a 9 Another nine and another eight. So eight point five. Um, then let's do this um, and also some training for myself. Okay, uh, now that we have 100,000 fans, we should be able to do um, medium games without uh, going through a publisher, which is uh, good as it um, uh, gets rid of the uh, awkward requirement that we need to have uh, a certain, uh, a certain uh, quality of our game. Um, Nevertheless, it's good to have a quality, uh, quality game because uh, it just sells a tiny bit better, and uh, in the end, um, that's what we want. So, the first employee was uh, we found through complex algorithm. Uh, that was Brandon um, for the technical side of things. Then Bill, we did do through a showreel uh, for the uh, design part of things. Um, then let's do a game demo, uh, which should uh, give us some good all-rounders. Um, we need a game report of that, anyway. Uh, and of course some research into uh, topics farming I have an idea there um, yeah let's do some more topic research uh, technology okay now we have our applicants um, it's a bit more on the design side uh, and I have a feeling on the technical side we are lacking a bit so let's see if we have something that's more on the technical side like uh, Janet here looking good Xavier is also more on the on the technical side. Um, I think is low speed but high research and less salary. I would go with uh, with Janet there. 
uh, just because it's a bit more balanced out. So let's hire her, and it's always good to have uh, a woman on the on team. Brings in a fresh perspective. It can also cause problems, especially with the male guys. Um, so. Um. Now, the pixel cup is for design, the code gem for technology, then the game gem gets basically um, a mix of everything. Then we have time trails and these two can go on uh, vacation and we have a look at the uh, game report okay uh, it's nothing nothing much there um, you can also do a bit of training the innovation challenge it's the last one uh, uh, on here um, we will once again have a small booth and once everyone is back from training and uh, vacation uh, we will do our first um, medium game of our own Hundred seventy-seven thousand. I'm not sure what we had last time, but I think uh, it's cons it was considerably less. I would assume forty thousand visitors less. So let's create a new game. Let's create a great game, uh, a medium game, nevertheless. And we have some exciting topics down here. Um, farming. And of course it will be a simulator. Farm simulator 2000. Because that's probably around the time um, that we currently are at compared to the uh, to the game news that we that we get maybe late 90s but um, it's it's always good to name a game and that's set a bit into the the future that's that sets the the right expectations there so, um, Janet, you can deal with, uh, with story and, uh, and quest. And now, uh, with three employees, we really should be uh, uh, better balanced so that we don't constantly have to uh, overwork our crew here. Um, simulation, I would say, is, is big. Dialogues, not so much. But... Brandon has a has a high design, but it's he's even higher on the uh, tech side. So, and artificial intelligence that's definitely a tech topic. And now that we are doing our own games, let's step up the uh, marketing a bit and also do game demos.
If you want to read these messages, you can always pause the uh, video, or maybe you're even fast enough uh, in uh, reading while it ty ty types out. So, um, let's switch around here a bit. And that should work out nicely. Yeah, and now you see uh, the design side and the technology technology side is is more even that. That's what I like to see. More bugs, still more bugs, more fixes, and there we go. We ended up with a bit more on the uh, design side, but it's a new uh, combo or a new record on both sides and uh, as we did not uh, uh, with, with all our employees we were under 100% we also get the uh, good, ma good management here which gives us a 1.8 bonus there and Brandon uh, levels up so uh, he wins more money Okay. Ooh, cool and breezy. So, game review. Eight. Eight is eight is good for our uh, first medium game that we did on our own. Should bring in quite a bit of cash. We went down from uh, uh, five mil to uh, 3.7 and uh, this should bring us uh, back up again. So let's do the special training for Brandon and um, do some design training here and for Janet, yeah, you do the, the mix here, and I will uh, take a look at the game report to figure out uh, what we did right, right? Okay, then... Brandon, do another research for a topic. Military. I mean, with well, military, the uh, the the it's quite straightforward to to pair it uh, with uh, with the shore but well that's why I, I choose it so farming simulation great combination uh, well what a big surprise there and uh, yeah that will come in uh, in time. Yep, and uh, we will just follow up with another game. Um, let's do sequel. Uh, one of our older ones, City Builder, that did pretty well. So, City Builder 2000, uh, but let's make it uh, a medium game. 
It's a simulation game, so um, PC it is. It's our own game engine. Um, we will do this one with 3D graphics. And yep. Last game was a simulation game, so uh, we should be uh, should be good with uh, with most of these these settings. And the uh, training Brandon did there, you can see this this icon up. That's uh, basically a speed boost um, that we can then use, so he produces uh, more points until it runs out, and then uh, it has to uh, refresh again. Uh, let's push forward, um, do the marketing here again, and as you can see we are back up at, at 5 mil, which is good. Yeah. Okay, work out all those bugs before we release. We don't want to ship a buggy game. That's not good for uh, reviews and our friends there. Yep. Okay. Leveled up in some areas and uh, Bill as well, which means he wants more money. Okay. Gladly to pay good people. And uh, we do another small boost. And the game reviews are here. It's a seven. Not as good as I expected. It's another seven. And a six. And an eight. So overall it's a solid seven. Um, not yeah, uh, the the greatest uh, the greatest game, but well, I I would have expected a bit more. Um, do we have an uh, eighty point? Multi-genre, that basically means you can uh, combine two genres. I'm not really uh, uh, fussed about that. Um, it's more things like this. Okay. Oh, you're not doing terribly. Um, the game convention should help us a bit. You can then see it here. Uh, While well, typically the uh, the bars go down, and we should see uh, a slight up spike uh, for the next months, and we once again got a bit more uh, more. Uh, Money. There you see it. Okay, the game report. It's uh, probably just our game engine starts to get a bit, bit old. So we should think about uh, uh, creating a new one soon. And do a bit more training. On the 
attack side for me. Okay. I can already start developing a new game with a new topic colonization simulation PC of course colonize let's not call it colonize 2000 Um, let's stick with the with the two D for this one. Um, ooh, we did not change it to a medium game. Does not matter. We will follow up with another game. Um, but uh, in this case we only do a, a magazine marketing campaign. For a small game, uh, we have quite a decent score here. And let's finish. Release the game. And then do the next one. Change this one to medium. Pick a topic. Um, military. Um, strategy seems to be an uh, obvious choice. Um, let's do it for a console this time. Mill strat. Um, let's keep it that way. Um, let's try to do it as a 3D game. Okay, the reviews for the last game are in. Somewhere in the uh, middle area, as it seems. Sixes, sevens. Six. And another six. Okay. Hmm. I figure strategy games are pretty uh, similar in their requirement as uh, uh, simulation games so let's not change too much And uh, let's use the boost here. Okay, we will install solar panels for uh, 200,000 K. I 
I don't think that will uh, uh, cut down on our uh, monthly costs there. Um, okay, Brandon, uh, artificial intelligence, maybe for, well, could be. Um, you do dialogues and uh, I do level design, right? And then we do the marketing in magazines and with demos. Right, and graphics. I will deal with that. And Bill can do the wall design and Janet the uh, sound here. Okay, ah, that looks that looks good. So a few more pound points here and there. And there we go. New record on both accounts. Okay. Very nice. Release the game. Janet leveled up. More research topics. Um, and let's see. Um, video playback. And achievements so how did we do six and a five and a five and a seven um, Maybe a new topic. Uh, we missed the dungeon in here. Then also do a game report. Ooh, we missed the last one as well. Oh uh, yeah, because that was a small one, and uh, we just followed up with the with the next game. Um. Then let's do this one as well. Okay. Play system two. Okay. What does the game report tell us? Colonization simulation, great combination, story quest, not very important. And we will create a new game engine, the SGE number three, sites game engine number three. And of course we will top everything uh, off, um, add new features, make it more expensive uh, and better. And um, Add the soundtrack in here. It uh, costs us slightly under one mil, but 
it will help us uh, down the line with more great games. And uh, yeah, small boost once again as we do not really have that much in the uh, in the pipeline. Military strategy, great combination. Who would have thought so? Sound quite important. Um, but strategy and stream was bad. So that's probably why uh, our uh, game did not score battle. But we will see. I mean, these, these are things you have to, to learn anyway uh, to figure out what way works good where and what doesn't. And I mean, at the, at the moment we are able to hold our cash at around the uh, 5 mil mark uh, with the games we develop. Okay. New console is coming soon. Okay. Our game engine is complete and on that note I will end this episode. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon. Goodbye.